Hello everyone and thank you for joining in. YieldMax ETF has been around for a few years. Right? So if you look over the list of the ETF, there are 28 different ETF. Some of them has been around for over two years, actually almost two years, and some were recently launched. And there were a few that was actually launched last month, like Airbnb and FIAT, and that is why you don't see any distribution rate over here. So trust me or not, not all ETFs are equal. These 28 different ETF produce totally different results. Some of them are very profitable. You can actually double your money and some of them not so good and there are some that are losing money. So let me perform a detailed mathematical analysis of this 28 ETF and see which one of these performed well and why. So we can learn from it and which one is losing money. So we can avoid that in the future. So before I go into the detail of mathematical analysis, let's understand how does this work. If you look at this, this is the symbol of ETF TSLY and the stock reference stock is T Tesla TSLA and this is the distribution rate, right? the dividend distribution rate of it. Now if you click on this one, sorry about that, it's taking longer than it. Okay, good. So I already talked about distribution rate. Now this is the monthly dividend that's getting paid for each share, right? the month and the dividend per share. And this is the detail of the fund like Tesla was initiated in November 2022. So you can go back and read it on your leisure time. I am not going to waste your time on this. So le let me focus more on the mathematical analysis. So what I have done is I downloaded this 28 ETF into Excel spreadsheet and did some math on it. Let's do this, okay. So let me, sorry about that, let's do it, okay. So what I have done is I actually uploaded everything over here. Right now, this is just a bunch of numbers. So let me explain in detail what this number means and how did I get it. So as an example, let's just start with this one, Tesla, right? Tesla, what I have done is I invested $5,000 at the start of the year. For all these 28 funds that you are seeing, I invested $5,000 each, each of them. And I'm, now I'm going to see, as of today, how much did I make? Which one did make money for me or which one did I do money? So if you look over here, I, I invested $5,000 start of the year. Now, on January 2, January 1st was the holiday. So January 2nd was the first trading day of the year. The stock price was $23.96 and I $23.96 on January 2. So $23.96. And I invested $5,000 into that. So $5,000 invested. The stock price was $23.96. So I can buy 208 share, 0.68. But for simplicity, I am not going to deal with fractions. So Let's say I just bought 208 share. So I bought 208 share of Tesla at 2396. And then I, when I multiply this 208 with the purchase price of 2396, I paid $4,983.68. Since I invested $5,000, so $5,000 minus this one. So I have $16.32 cash. Okay, so I invested $5,000. Share price was $23.96 for Tesla on the first trading day of the year. So that I can only buy 208 share and I'm left with $16.32 cash, right? You don't have to worry about that. Look, just try to understand and I will upload that Excel spreadsheet. You can play around with it anytime you want. Now, 
I showed you over here, right? I mean, it's like Tesla. So this is a list of dividend each month, how much dividend was paid. So, so I uploaded it over here. So each month, this is the dividend paid per month. Right? So total dividend paid from year to date was $5.25. So dividend and year to date on each single one of them. Now, so what is the current value of the stock? Now, currently, okay, look at this one, right? So I have 208 here, and the current value of TSLY is 1610. So current value is 3348. Now, how much dividend I earn? Each share earned a dividend of $5.76 from here to date. And I have 208, 119808, right? So what is the value I have? This is the dividend I earned year to date. This is the current value of the stock I have. And this is the cash I have. So I had what? $4,562.98. So $5,000 that I invested the start of the year, which was January 2nd, 2024, in Tesla is worth only 4,562. What that means is, if I put $5,000 here, it's only worth this. That means I'm losing $437, because it's less than $5,000. So that is a change of almost 9%. So TSLY, lost money if I invested it at the start of the year. Now let's take a look at one more example. Let's take an example of ULTY. ULTY, that fund was started on February 2024. Now, if you look at that, the first day of the trading, the price of the stock was 1935, right? I invested $5,000. The stock price was 1935. So what that means is, I let's do this. So let's do five five thousand cash. I have I I paid nineteen thirty five each. So I can buy two hundred and fifty eight point three nine share. Right? Since I'm not dealing with fractions, so I'm just bought two hundred and fifty eight. So if I do that, like two fifty eight multiply. You do what? Uh, 19.35. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just do this. Is, I think I should put the formula over here. 4992. So from 5000, I invested. So oh, 7.7, right? So $5,000 I invested in ULTY. I paid nineteen thirty five for each share, and that let me buy two hundred and fifty eight share. Seven seventy is left as a cash, and the dividend I earned here to date was five point eight nine per share. Right? Now today, the price of the ulti is twelve fifty nine. That means its just current value is twelve fifty nine multiply the number of share I bought. 3248 and dividend earn is this is the per share and I have 258.1519. So what is the total value I have is whatever dividend I earn, current value and the cash. And then since I invested $5,000 but current I have only 4 so I'm losing 290. So so Tesla, I lost 437 and RT, I lost $219. So this is an example I showed you two of those. Now let's take a look over here. So, so this is the 28, actually 26. There are 28 of those, but two of them, there's no distribution yet. So 26 that I analyze it, every single one of them, right? Let's take an example of NVIDIA. So I invested $5,000. The price of the stock was $21.83. I could only buy 229 
this is what I'm left with the cache. And if you go back over here for NVIDIA, right? I mean, you go back over here for NVIDIA, you can, here, sorry about that. So you look, okay, let's look at the NVIDIA. If you go back, look at the dividend for it, for the year to date, you make $13.62. And the price of NVIDIA stock is $26.53. So if you multiply $26.53 with the 229 share that you have, it turns out to be $6,000. And there's 3,118 you receive in the form of dividend. So total is 9,195. So that's a profit of $4,195, 83.91% profit. <clears throat> so for every single one of them, I did the same thing. So let's, let's do one more, MSTY, the same thing I did that over here, invested $5,000. And this was the price of the stock when initially it was launched. This is the, the current price it is, total dividend earned, and based on that, this is what I came up with. So let's take a look at it and see which is the top three best performing percentage-wise. Let's go from Z to A, right? So if you look at that, MSTY is the best performing yield max CDF with the change in value of 97%. You almost double your money. If you invested at the beginning of the year on MSTY, you double your money. Actually, I've done a detailed video on MSTY. Please go and take a look at it. It has detailed analysis. Same go with NVIDIA, NVDY. You made a profit of almost like 85%. Kony. 28. So if based on these, the top five are, you see that these are the top five yield max ETF that gives the highest return. Mesti, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, Kony, Nefli, and MZ. This part. And let's see which is the lowest. Now looking at the, the top five losers, CRSH, which is actually a shot of Tesla, AIYY, Tesla, Madonna, and YB. So these are the five top losing ones. And there are some, you can see that, you know, you just make 1%, 2%, 3%. Now, don't be fooled with this distribution. Let me just take a distribution from highest to, see, you see this? These are the five top distributions. Even though Ulti has a distribution rate of 95.4%, but it still lose money. Same go with the uh, YBIT. Same go to, to CRS. So don't be fooled with this distribution rate. Look at the one that constantly performed and the one that has a high volatility one, and then you will do pretty good. So here, let me just say one more thing. Okay, here, good. So I think the next step is to understand the characteristic of this five. What make this five most profitable? Number one, if you look at Misty, Connie, these two are Bitcoin related stocks, right? Bitcoin goes up, this goes up. Bitcoin go down, this go down. Nvidia is the high flying stocks, very volatile. Same go to Netflix and MZ. So if, it, if it's volatile, then it's going to pay more premium on those options and it will generate more cash. And also you need to invest in the stock that is going up. Don't just invest for the dividend, invest for the stock that is appreciating in this value so hope you enjoy this video and like it so please share subscribe like comments so i'll see you soon with some other video thank you and have a good day bye